got uh, something special coming up right now. We do, we do. We do? We do. Do we? Do we? We do. Oh, we do. We do. I do. Having with us right now, uh, AJ Rage and Psycho V of Green Monkey. Gentlemen, how are you? Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, good. Uh, good to have you guys on the phone. Um, we uh, we reached out to you. Um, you guys are competing in the uh, uh, the Battle of the Bands for the World Tour. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, you guys have the, the summer finals are coming up uh, Saturday, June 2nd. Um, tell me a little bit about that process. I know uh, I know the World Tour is something big if, if, you know, if you're out there, if you're a small band, or if you're trying to make it, you're trying to get your music out there. Uh, the World Tour is a good place. A lot of people have uh, uh, kick-started their career from there. Yeah, um, we um, we performed uh, a few weeks back in the uh, first round. It was it was kind of a funny thing because um, I actually got hurt. Um, I'm the drummer, and I got hurt about a week before the actual show, so there was a good opportunity we weren't going to play. And so we kind of moved around some guys in the band. My brother who plays bass, who's actually here too, my uh, Mighty Mike, uh, he stepped up the bass, and uh, our lead singer Mario took over the bass, and my brother took the drums. And we actually went on to win the competition, so hopefully we'll be back at full strength uh, come June 2nd. So the semifinals are coming up, and then it's actually kind of funny because I believe just uh, less than a week after that, they're going to have the finals over at the House of Blues in Anaheim. Nice, yeah, that's a, that's a nice gig, man. I really like that place. Uh, have you guys, you guys been in there uh, um, seeing an there at the House of Blues? Oh, yeah, I, I went out to the one in Hollywood. And I haven't really been to the one in Anaheim. I went to Hollywood to go see All That Remains in Black Label Society. It was a great show. Yeah, I know that, that's, that, that's, that's really good, man. Uh, I know uh, there's recent state competition though, this time around. It's not, uh, uh, there's some names that I've heard uh, on, on the set list uh, for, the, for the second. Um, you guys are going to have to pull all the stops out and, uh, and, and rock, the, rock the shit out of that to get, get through. Yeah, we got, you know, we got, we got a couple tricks up our sleeve. I mean, I think we're going to go in there. And like I said, I mean, you know, we've been known to have kind of a unique sound. Um, we're always kind of like talking to people and people always asking us, you know, well, what do you guys sound like? And it's really hard. I mean, because today, I mean, there's just, there's just so many bands. I mean, it's like, you know, who do you really sound like? So when people ask us that, we just say, hey, we just sound like ourselves, I guess. So, um, yeah, we're going to go out there and, you know, we got a lot of people coming out and, you know, obviously a lot of people from the IE and we're just looking to hopefully take a lot of people and buses out to um, Orange County and uh, rock that out there. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, isn't that the, the, the goal of every band is to have their own sound? They don't want to sound like somebody else. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, it's too easy to copy what somebody else sounds like. Coming up with your own unique sound, that's, that's a whole new challenge in itself. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. This is Mike, um, uh, bass player, AJ's brother. But, yeah, What's up, Mike? people, you know, we, we definitely have our influences and in bands that we followed over the years and continue to follow and bands that we're fans of. But if we ever start, you know, developing some new music and we're, we're rehearsing and something starts to sound a little bit too much like something else, we might have to, you know, we, we halt the breaks and, you know, and just say, hey, guys, wait a minute, this sounds a little bit too much like that or, or too much like that band or, or that artist. So we, we definitely try to keep it original because we figure, you know, what's that saying? Uh, imitations is the sincerest form of flattery. We, Absolutely. We don't want somebody to go, hey, that sounds just like that band. I mean, little elements of the song can sound like a, a particular artist or band, but definitely want to create our own sound. Gotcha. So speaking of which, um, how old are you guys? How old, what's, the, what's, the, what's the age of all your members uh, of Green Monkey? Uh, we average everywhere from our lead singer who just turned 22 to me who's the old man of the band. I just hit the big 3-0. So. Oh, listen to you old man. <laughs> You're a youngster. <laughs> You're just a baby. Uh, so who, who are you guys big in for us? Who's your favorite band? Who's, uh, who do you love to see live? Um, you know, who's, who's somebody you don't miss when they come to town? You know, I mean... We all come from different backgrounds, musical backgrounds. Obviously, Vicious V, who is our lead guitarist, you know, he's more the Slipknot, the heavy metal guy. Uh, yeah. Izzy, who is our rhythm guitarist, is more of the, in the more melodic sound, say Tool, Perfect Circle, that kind of stuff. I come from a real heavy punk background. You know, I'm into the old punk stuff. My brother Mike, you know, he's more into the alternative sound. Where Mario, our lead singer, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, he, he, he kind of likes everything other than country western. That's good. You know what? We only have, uh, have two rules here at Chaotic Radio. No country and there is no rules. So exactly. other than that, you know, fuck it. I don't listen to country. You call that shit and save it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to cry or whine or wish I used to have an old girlfriend back, so I don't need that shit. <laughs> Pass. You guys, uh, you guys released your, uh, your EP this year, uh, Origins is that now, that's correct? Yeah, it, it actually came out uh, right at the beginning of the year. Um, it's a five-track EP. 
it's basically um, it was our way to kind of put to bed some of our music. I mean, some of the music that we kind of used in developing ourselves as a band over the past four years. These are some of the songs, and we wanted to just kind of give them, you know, their rights. So we kind of reworked some of them, and uh, we're actually in the process right now of working on our our, our full length album. Uh, we haven't gone in the studio yet. We're just kind of putting all the material for it. But when you listen to the first CD, I mean, the second CD is going to be much different. It's going to be a little heavier. Um, it's just, you know, it is a beat. Yeah. We got a little melodic on this one, um, on this on this album, Origins Unknown. But, you know, um, I came up with the title. I thought it was a cool title. So. That's good. It's, 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 it's unique. I mean, it, it counts. You know, you don't need to. If you guys are, uh, you know, trying to find your own sound, you're trying to find your own identity. Uh, or just announced kind of cool. It's like we're not coming from anywhere. We're just we're kind of coming from nothing. We're we're putting something new together. I like it, man. Yeah. Well, but you guys, yeah. you guys have your uh, your, your good monkey chunky to follow you around. Do you guys have a pretty good following when you play live? Yeah, actually, we're you know, I mean, like I said, I mean, we it starts back when four years ago, you know, when you know it was just kind of like close friends and. It's just kind of progressed more and more from there, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I know, like I said, we affectionately call them our Green Monkey Junkies because honestly, I think most of our fans are junkies in some way, one form or another. So, <laughs> I think I'm we all. Are. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you guys, you guys have the show coming up uh, next, or what is it, the tenth at uh, Lunar Lounge in Kelowna? Yeah, that's in what? Well, two days. Uh, couple more days. Yeah, we're just putting the finishing touches on that. It's going to be a, a bit of a shorter set list. I think 25, 30 minutes. We'll probably knock out five or six songs real quick, but it's a very cool atmosphere. The place is amazing. Um, and that, that raw event that puts the show on, it's just a very eclectic mix of, of artists and, and models and, um, models and musicians. It's really, really cool. Give me some hot chicks there. That, uh, that's what I was telling my brother this morning. I was saying the way that I wanted to kind of describe it was, like, if you can consider, like, really cool music, really, really, like, hallucinogenic uh, artwork, and half-naked chicks walking all over the place. What are we doing on the 10th, Danny? Can we get, can we, uh, get out of here? Let's go watch this shit. I want to go see. Hey, let me know, man. I'll get you guys tickets, man. I have tickets waiting for you guys at the door, man. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll let you know. And speaking of uh, getting, you know, seeing you guys again, uh, we got you scheduled to come in here in studio on the 17th and do an acoustic set. You guys ready for that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're actually um, putting together some of stuff. I mean, we're going to put something kind of unusual for that, but um, I think one of the things that um, I really, I really enjoy doing acoustic stuff. We haven't done a whole lot of it live, but we do. It is part of our practice procedures, and I really love. Um, I think you're really going to be impressed with Mario's voice. I mean, like I said, he really goes out there and he loves to sing acoustically. So nice, man, nice. Well, we'll have to we'll have to get in touch with you and make sure we got all the right equipment ready for you guys because that's that's really what we love to do here at Chaotic. Uh, is you know help out these small bands, help out guys like yourself trying to make it or trying to get there. You know, just like we are, we're you know in the entertainment industry as well. We're an internet radio station, so you know we're we're definitely you know we're we're up and coming just like you, and uh, we want to work together and, uh, you know, do, do as much to promote for you and uh, expose you and, and find uh, find ways to get you a, a new audience. So we're definitely looking forward to having you guys in here. Yeah, um, we're, we're always, just like how you guys are, we're very experimental. Matter of fact, I was talking to my brother today, uh, we're just doing the finishing touches on a song that we're doing for a developmental professional football team. We're actually doing like a little intro song from a team right here out of uh, the Inland Empire called the Southern California Smash. Hey, way to go, Smash. Right. And, uh, it's 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 one of those things that we're just trying to get involved in as many things as possible, you know, because that's yeah, only get, way you're gonna get your name out there. Yeah, you gotta get your name out there. That's that, that's that's the name of the game in this. Is a uh, some people recognizing that, uh, and then they'll go, oh yeah, I know those guys. Those guys. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, um, so we, we talked a little bit, you know, uh, trying to get with you guys uh, on your influences and everything. Uh, talk to me a little bit. Uh, I know. I I have a rule here at the station. I'll let let these guys use the radio uh, at least for a while to to try to. Try to get any uh, to get any strange, get cool on the side. Are you guys, uh, how are you guys doing as far as uh, as far as the band? I mean, you got uh, you got you got groupies. You got to have a good time with the ladies. Um, it's kind of uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yes and no. You know, sometimes I kind of question the sexuality of some of the guys in my band, but you know. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I, I, I tried to put somebody on blast. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know if there were any girlfriends uh, listening that uh, were going uh, yeah. to try, try to crunch on you guys. Matter of fact, uh, Vicious V, who's on it, he's one of the ones that we kind of question sometimes. Uh-oh. <laughs> nah, nah, I, the thing is, is, I have a chubby one instead of a skinny one. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a soft place to put your gun. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I really appreciate your time. Uh, I know, you know, just a, a short, quick 10, 10, 15 minute interview this morning. Um, you know, we, we support you guys. We'll make sure we uh, let all of our, our fans know about you on our Facebook. And uh, um, we're looking forward to getting you guys in here on the uh, 17th. And that's uh, me and Danny can get out of here and come down on the 10th. We're going to come check you out at the Little Island there, Florida. Sounds great, brother. And we actually go on at uh, 9.15. You guys want nine fifteen? Yeah. I will come out with you. I'll, I'm not paying attention to you guys so, to, for, for the band, so I, want, but I also want to see some chicks and some other shit, so we'll come down early. <laughs> yeah, we'll do our best to get everything together. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, uh, have a great day. Thanks for uh, taking the time to share with us this morning, and uh, we'll see you guys on the 17th. Hey, thanks, guys, man. You guys are great. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, man. Take care. That is uh, Green Monkey. Good evening.